Um, well, welcome, and I'm sorry I, um, for some of the delays here. I've just, as I said, I've never done this before. Um, but uh, it's a simulcast, okay? Um, I'm going to start with uh, an old October project song. Okay, here we go. You rise like a wave into the ocean, and you fall gently back into the sea. Now I want to know how to hold you. Return to me. Return to me. You shine like the moon over water, and you darken the sky when you hear. Now I want to know how to keep you. Everybody. Is that good? Is the sound good here? I saw Mike Vieira commenting. A little hot. Is it still hot? Better now? Okay, that's good. Keep your uh, one distance from the mic kind of fade in and out. Okay. And I'm wanting pretty close to the mic. Okay. All right. Um, gosh, I'm thinking what I want to do now. Um, I hope you're all coping all right with this whole thing. Um, you know, I like to say my 
this life, this new life that we have is not that different from my normal life because I'm pretty much self quarantined all the time up here. I, I uh, Rich and I live on a mountaintop and, um, but you know, it's beautiful and it's spring and um, I love all the, the, the daffodils around. Um, I was trying to think of a song that, uh, a lot of hopeful songs. So I'm going to do one that uh, I wrote for such an occasion as this, um, these times. Um, and uh, the, uh, the title is, is from um, a vision that my mother had. Um, I come from a very Catholic family, very Catholic. And uh, my mother called me up one day and she had, she had gotten up in the middle of the night and swore that she saw Michael the Archangel out her window. And um, she told me she couldn't tell anybody else. Um, but she told me because as she put it, um, well, you know, you're the kook, so I can, I can share that with you. And, but I asked, I said, um, did you ask him anything? And she said, yes, I did. And, uh, and I said, did he say anything to you? And she said, yes, he said, lady, everything's going to be all right. So I thought, well, if it's good enough for Michael the Archangel, it's good enough for my song. So here we go. Everything's cool. Um, so I'm going to do a song that I uh, I wrote. I 
wrote for my husband. And um, I wanted to write a song that um, honored him, you know, that captured him. Uh, so I wanted a nice melody that was sort of very Americana. Um, he grew up in Virginia, so I thought it should sound something like Shenandoah. And then I was thinking that um, it would be nice uh, if it, um, I guess I wanted to, to capture his character, you know, the kind of a man he was. And um, so anyway, I, uh, <laughs> I was like, ah! okay. Honey, I can hear you out there. Just throw the reverb down a little on the guitar. Yeah, okay, hold on. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, so, um, so I wrote this song, it's called Gravity, and um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real life kind of love song. Um, a love song that, I guess it's for older people. Um, I wanted to capture his strength and his honor. So this is called Gravity. I know you've always been a good, good man on the straight and narrow. A knight, a shining archer, order of the arrow. But tonight with all your weapons down, you feel it scorned and scarred. I'll bind your wounds and comfort you as I know who you are. I've seen you move mountains, turn rivers around, defy the force of gravity with both feet on the ground under the weight of the world I've seen the kindness that you've shown so tonight I'll be your harbor tonight I'll be your home in faded photos is a younger man that I find I see the toll that all this time has taken on your weary bones. And I know you loved a woman once. Oh, how I wish it had been me. But I had to learn the harder way. Freedom don't come free. I had to move mountains, turn rivers around, defy the force of gravity, with both feet on the ground, under the weight of the world, in those dark nights of my soul, a heart without a Some come to pass the lonely time, some are here to stay. Some come to teach us lessons, and some just make us pay. But we're born to love another, it's not good to be alone, cause we all need a harbor. We all need a home. And we will move mountains, turn rivers around, defy the force of gravity with both feet on the ground. And in the weight of the years, will disappear from our soul. And I'll always 
song because it I think it doesn't just honor my husband but it honors men in general you know um, and I think a lot of a lot of men need that out there right now um, it's just a lot of obviously um, so let me um I just want to do something that I feel comfortable with as well um, as I said, I'm still, this This is not my medium, you know. Um, I love being on a stage uh, because it's uh, it's that communion between us there, you know. Um, it was never about a, applause for me. Someone is calling me, and I, I don't know who, but um, I don't know what's going on. Someone named Robert Smith was, was calling me. Um, so, perfect. Okay, perfect. We're good. Okay. All right. Okay. Hold on just a second. Whoever you are, please don't call me. Um, um, so, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do a song that is, is, it's like a comfy blanket song for me. Um, this is called Ben Idea Habibi. A lot of you who've seen my shows have heard the, the whole story about it before. And um, I, uh, I discovered this song years ago. Um, this was when uh, a rare day off on the one and only, uh, the one and only tour that October Project ever did of, of Europe. And um, so I love all things I love medieval history. I studied medieval history when I was in college. And um, so I, I, uh, I went hunting on that day off for the best medieval Spanish music that I could find. I love all that Ladino music, the Sephardic music of Spain. So I, uh, I found this dusty old record store and I, I bought the place out practically and I came home and I heard this song and I, I immediately fell in love. And it's in a language that if, if you've never seen my show before and you haven't heard the whole story, um, you won't recognize it. Unless you're a professor of medieval Spanish, you're not going to understand this, this, uh, this song. It's in a beautiful, very, very sensual language called Mozarabic. And um, so the, the song is from the 11th century in Spain. And... Mozarabic is a is a really really sensual patois of Spanish and Arabic, and the song basically means um, "Oh my beloved, Habibi is sweetheart, beloved" in in Mozarabic and and, and Arabic. And um, this is a woman who's been waiting all day for her lover to show up, and um, she's kind of mad at him, so she calls him a liar and says, "You know, you were going to be here, and when you finally get to my." my house and you kiss my little mouth you won't be leaving too soon so here we go this is Ben Aindi Habibi <laughs> She's a 
see some of your comments now and um, don't don't you yell at each other okay we're all we're all here to have a good time um, I'm starting to loosen up just a little bit and uh, no tips you don't have to tip anybody or do anything um, I don't feel comfortable with that stuff I don't I don't do patreon um, it's just it's not my thing you know um, and uh, I'd rather you you spend your money on um, on yourself or artists that 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 need it more, you know. Um, but uh, let's see, Rich. No, <laughs> he's like, <looking at> <laughs> um, but I will say that if you do want to do me a favor, um, I have a. I I didn't announce this formally, but um, I I put out this. On. I put out the surround sound version of a record I, I have called Dark Side of the From the Dark Side of the Moon. And um, we thought that the surround version of the I don't have surround sound technology in my house, so you know I didn't know what I was missing basically. But it's a magnificent version that was mixed by the incredible Bob Clear Mountain, who's probably one of um, the most brilliant sound engineers in the world. And um, so what I really liked about it was the new artwork. And I'm gonna show it to you for a second. So um, I was never really happy with the original V2 artwork on this. And so I, I went to my wonderful uh, graphic designer and I sat with her for an hour and I, um, I, I was chewing her ear off with everything that I wanted. and. Um, Basically, I said, listen, um, can you somehow, in an image, capture the, the philosophical um, place that I was coming from in this interpretation? And I said, you know, it's sort of uh, our basic humanity, the divinity in, in humans being assaulted by our sort of technocratic overlords, you know, and, and their dystopian vision of the future, this, this sort of AI transhumanist vision that that we're kind of at war with and, and at the mercy of, can, can you kind of capture that? And my God, did she ever. So this is, if you can see this, this is, this is the new artwork for the surround sound. If you have a Blu-ray player and surround sound, um, this is the new beautiful artwork. And if you can see it, there's all these binary numbers binary code coming down like it's it's raining down from the heavens and it's in blu-ray uh 5.1 surround so if you would like to do something it's on my website and you can go and um and order it and uh it's um 
it's an amazing experience this this surround it's um i i didn't think i'd be impressed and then my my producer mark doyle said no mary you have to hear this and he sat me down with a glass of wine and he cranked it up and um this was a this was an album that was truly meant to be in surround and um so if you're interested in that sort of thing you can go to my website and, and buy it i'm going to do a song from that now and um this is the acoustic version um and boy oh boy is this song more appropriate than ever you know i feel like we're all living this out every single day here we go this is from dark side of the moon and it's called brain damage <laughs> Say, I 
have all that you eat and everyone you meet and all that you fight and everyone you slight and all that is now all that is gone all that's to come and everything under the sun is in two but the sun is eclipsed by the moon Okay. How are we doing there, Rich? Yeah, we're doing here. You're on 842. Okay, 842. Um, let's switch up here a little bit. I should use my other guitar now. Hold on. This is live from my, I guess, this is my girl cave in here. It's like I spend half my life in this place. And, uh, hold on. So, we're gonna go to here. A song that uh, hold on just a sec here. Okay. necessary evil here. in our house growing up. Um, uh, my oldest brother was the folky and, and my older sister had all the great, the great female singers of the 60s. Um, and it was nice to, to have that, that surrounding me when I was a little kid. But the, the person I loved the best when I was really little was Judy Collins. I just loved her. And um, I loved the breadth of music that, that she was able to do. And, and um, I guess, I guess that's kind of what I wanted to be when I grew up. Um, and uh, so this is a song that was written by, by Joni Mitchell, but made famous by Judy Collins uh, and uh, kind of helped to put Joni on the map. And um, it's a song that uh, I guess because I learned it when, when I was young, it's one of those songs that, that goes straight in to here. And uh, it's a, I, I think it's because it's a song of innocence and experience, you know, and you hear it one way when you're young and, and so differently as you get older um, and experience more and more. So um, you, you guys all know this. Goes and flows of angel hair And ice cream castles in the air And feather cannons everywhere I've looked at clouds that way But now they only block the sun They rain and snow on everyone. So many things I would have done. The clouds got in my way. I looked at clouds from both sides now. From a 
up and down and still somehow it's clouds illusions I recall. I really don't know clouds at all. Moons and tunes and feathers. Dizzy dancy way when every fairy tale comes real. I've looked at love that way, but now it's just another show. You leave them laughing when you go. Don't give yourself away. I've looked at love from both sides now. From give and take, and still somehow, it's love's illusions I know. I really don't know love. <laughs> Tears and fears and feeling proud To say I love you right out loud Dreams and schemes and circus crowds I've looked at life that way But now old friends are acting strange Their heads. They say I've changed. Well, something's lost, but something's gained in living every day. I've looked at life from both sides now, from win and lose, and still somehow. It's life's illusions I know. I really don't know life. end of this. I'm only supposed to do a, about an hour and um, I've been looking at the requests and, and things that people were, were sending in to me. Um, I was trying to think of what you guys needed the most and uh, and I was thinking about, um, you know, there's, there's this roomy quote, you know, um, that I've always, I've always loved, where there is room there is hope for a treasure. And um, that's been very true in my life. Um, so I think what happens is there's an element of, of grace that, that happens. Um, you know, whether you believe in a higher power or, or you know, God is some mathematical entity, um, whatever, I, I, I have seen this element of grace function and I think we, we all need it now very, very much. So um, I kind of look at it where you have, to, you have to do the work in this life. You have to have an intent. You have to focus and work at everything you want and the harder it gets, the more you have to do that. And I've been that way my whole life. And, uh, but I found that I call that shake in the apple tree. And um, I've shaken so many apple trees, you know, in my life, just come on apple. And, and then every so often you give up and walk away. And then a little, a beautiful little pear comes down in your hand 
And those are the good things. Those are the things from grace. Those are the good things in your life that endure. And um, good things always seem to come unexpectedly. So I'm going to do a song about grace. Hey, you have 750 viewers. <laughs> Rich just said I had 750 viewers. That's nice. Um, so uh, let's see. Up here. That's it. So I'm going to leave you with this, and um, I hope you've all had a good time. I'm so sorry that uh, we had these troubles at the beginning, but we were trying to do a simulcast with the beautiful Acorn Theater and, and my own site. So it was kind of trying to mesh those two that we were having a problem with. But I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to, I'm going to do it right the next time. And um, so thank you all for coming out. Please, please support support all those theaters and venues when, when we all go back to normal and we will go back to normal at some point. Um, live music was, you know, was struggling to begin with, but, but now they're really gonna have a problem. And um, the Acorn Theater is one of those beautiful, beautiful theaters I love going back to every year. There's so many of those places. They're like a second home for me on the road. I've grown very, very attached to a lot of them. So, um, just be sure to, 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 to go back out and support them. And um, I'm going to sing something a cappella, so, so I won't get any more complaints. Let's see. And I'm going to send this out as just grace and beautiful golden white light to all of you, okay? Thank you so much for coming. Here we go. I'm going to do an a cappella. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. But now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. Was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. When we've been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun, when we've no less days to sing God's praise. Then when we'd first begun, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch. Like me, I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see.
thank you everybody good night stay well stay healthy and um i hope i see you again soon good night <laughs>